the company's cost of capital that is WACC weighted average cost of capital using the dividend growth model is so my VAC weighted average cost of capital is equal to 1 minus T times into KD this represents the after tax cost of debt into D by V debt divided by total value of the firm plus cost of equity into E by V where E by V represents the proportion of the total value of the firm in terms of equity. So when I put these values my D by V is equal to 0 0.35 my KD is equal to 10.84 into 1 minus tax means 0 0.6 plus KE the KE is 15.5% into E by V that is 0 0.65 so it will give me a value of 12.35 percent the weighted average cost of capital so the correct option is option A the weighted average cost of capital is the required re required rate of return for a project of average, average risk so one thing should be kept in mind that if a company is taking a project which is riskier than the average risk then it should require a discount rate that is much higher than the WACC however for average risk projects the company can use weighted average cost of capital